Good morning, good morning. Welcome to our Mindful Monday. Today, we are so lucky to have Helena from Adventure to Peace to lead us in this gentle yoga nidra class, followed, uh, well, chair yoga class, followed by yoga nidra. Most of you have joined us before and uh, you know the drill. <laughs> We're very grateful to Yonkers Public Library for the Zoom platform, to Friends of Crestwood Library for their continued support to Westchester County Legislator Ruth Walter for a wellness contract to pay our wonderful facilitators like Helena. And we're also grateful to each and every one of you for being here as part of our wellness community. We also wanna thank Mary for helping us with the Zoom room management. She's always here and helpful and cheerful and helping us on our way. So without further ado, you're all here to hear Helena and to work out with Helena and to go on a wonderful journey. So I can't wait to see where we're gonna to go today. Helena, take it away. Thank you so much. See, no, the journeys are exciting to write and, and, and read. And um, yeah, we never know where, where we're going. Okay, so today is Earth element. We're back on Earth. Last week, we did a balancing class where we worked with all the five elements. And today, we're back on Earth. Earth, the color is red. I usually have a red t-shirt. I couldn't find it today. So I found uh, something else. Um, the, the mantra that I've chosen to work with today is, I am always calm in the center of my being. I am always calm in the center of my being. It's a mantra I come back to over and over again. It's fairly simple. Uh, it's uh, powerful. And um, especially in times of uncertainty and, and stress, like staying staying with the basics and come back, coming back to the basics mantras uh, or guidelines, I, I find helpful. And maybe you do too, I don't know. Uh, you can choose to work with the same one or you pick another one. Okay, so let's uh, start uh, with the chair. So I'm always calling the center of my being. So what is the center of my being? And one of the images that I'm using and we play with before is this slinky. So, um, if you'd like, you'd come to your seat, find your, find your feet to start with. Just move the feet around a little bit, noticing the connection uh, with the earth through your, the soles of your feet. And then coming to stillness, if you'd like, you could bring your awareness to your sit bones, two sitting bones. Notice how they are connected to the chair. And then if you wanted to, you could place your uh, hands and find the hip bones and the top of the pelvis, the top of the pelvis. The pelvis is super strong. And there are two pelvic halves. To make this a little bit simplified, you could imagine your two fingers as your pelvic, pelvic halves and they come together, the two paths. So the leg actually starts up at like the hip joint. So this all from the top of the pelvis all the way down, that's my right leg. And from the pelvis all the way down, that's my left leg. The two pelvic halves come together. So there's a back and there's a front. So maybe you could lean back and forward a little bit. So just thinking about us like a back, two pelvic halves coming together and then uh, back and forth, back and forth a little bit. And maybe imagine drawing a line from the, from the back and, and the front. And then on the two sides are my sitting bones. And then shifting from side to side a little bit, from sit, sitting bone to sitting bone, drawing another line. Okay, <clears throat> where those two lines meet or cross, where they cross, that's your root. Or that the idea we're playing with in yoga, that's, that's your root. So the root is somewhere in between your sitting bones going all the way down to the earth. And if you wanted to, you could use this slinky as an image. So we start from the earth, goes up to your root in between its sitting bones. That's how we're connected to the earth. 
And then it continues up lower belly, solar plexus, heart space, throat chakra, uh, I mean, or throat center, um, third eye, crown of your head and beyond. So this is an image you could play with. And to me, this is the center of my being. This is who, who I am. And in here, I'm always calm. And then we're adding the layers of the koshas. So when we do the yoga nidra, we're working with the layers of the koshas. Uh, and at the very outer part of me is my physical body. That's what we see. And so in here, I'm always calm. It's the koshas is out here. There's like activity and thoughts and feelings and stuff going on. Okay, so let's see if we can, if we can uh, find this. So go back to your feet, move the feet around a little bit, spread the toes, notice the, the uh, connection to the earth and then come to stillness. And then if you like, you can bring your um, awareness up to your sitting, the two sit bones or so sitting bones. And somewhere in between the sitting bones, there is a root. The root is growing into the earth, keeping you grounded. And then you, if you wanted to, you could inhale from earth up to the root. Exhale. And then inhale from the earth up to the lower belly. Exhale. Inhale from earth through the root, lower belly up to solar plexus. Exhale. Inhale from the earth up through the root, lower belly, solar plexus, heart space. Exhale. Inhale from the earth through the root, lower belly, solar plexus, heart space, throat center. Exhale. Two more. Inhale from earth, root, lower belly, solar plexus, heart space, throat center, third eye. Exhale on the last one. Inhale from earth, root, lower belly, solar plexus, heart, throat center, third eye, crown of the head and beyond and exhale. Okay, and then release. Just breathe normally. The third eye is another crossing point from the eye, from the, like somewhere in between your eyebrows going right in and then going right up and where those two lines cross, like in somewhere in the middle of your brain. That's your third eye, I think, or maybe it's further from, somewhere there, somewhere there. Okay, now with a calm core, I can free the tail. So with a calm core, if you uh, bring your awareness back to the root, and so that's calm, that's grounded into earth. I can shift my awareness to the tailbone and I can free the tail. That's the goal, free the tail. So I can stay calm and grounded and then my spine can play. So the tailbone goes up to the sacrum, and spine and all that part is called the spine. So you could, if you wanted, you could imagine how you're grounded into earth and then you could wag your tail. There's actually a little joint there. It's possible to wag the tail, free the tail. So the tailbone, sacrum and spine or the vertebrae, vertebrae, all those are like the spine. And then we could add some, an exhale and round the spine, inhale into your back bend, Cat cowing, exhaling round. So freeing the tail, um, working with the spine. So I have heard that our age is actually the spine. I might be a certain number, but my true age, age is in the spine. So we, if we want to stay um, healthier 
uh, we could work with the spine and keep the spine flexible and strong. And that's gonna have an effect on the rest of the body. And then I can be whatever number I want to. Okay, then coming to stillness, hands, back, hands on your shoulders, and then gently twist from side to side, waking up solar plexus. And then go swimming, shoulders moving up to, towards the, the throat. Or heart rather, both of them. And then go back. Okay, and then we're gonna stop there. Just maybe shake the shoulders a little bit. This time, bring the feet together into Tadasana feet. Big toes to touch, heels slightly apart. Okay, Tadasana feet. And then uh, lift that right knee off the floor. We've done this many times before. Opening up that hip joint and then finding a seated pigeon. This time we're gonna pay more attention to the feet. So find the toes to start with and give your toes like a little massage. You know, before you, like you could even, not right now, but at another time take a little bit of oil and um, massage your feet. It feels like they work hard for us. And then if you wanted to, you could flex and point the toe, flex and point the foot away, flex and, flex and point. Then flex the foot and really spread the, the toes and flex those toes. And then if you wanted to, you could just gently stroke the sole of your foot. A lot of stuff in the feet. I can't remember, there's tons of joints in the foot too. There's uh, like 30 joints or something. It's like a lot of joints in the foot. Maybe like find the heel and then point the foot away and then maybe gently stroke the top of your foot. Say, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the work you're doing for me. Okay, slide the knees together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale away for a gentle twist. Here in this twist, can you still find your root? That place in between the sitting bones that connected to earth. Can you imagine that slinky um, traveling up to your body? Inhale, arms up, exhale down. Now give yourself a hug, right arm goes under, feel the shoulder blades behind you, some gentle rocking maybe. You can go from here and find eagle arms. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, letting that bird fly. Awesome. And then coming back to Tadasana feet, back on earth, uh, lifting that left knee off the floor, opening up the hip joint, finding a pigeon on the other side, and then paying more attention to the foot today. So find every single toe separately together. They work to separately together as a little team of five toes. Flex and point the foot a little bit. And then uh, really flex those, uh, flex the foot and flex the, um, the toes, opening up the toes. Maybe gently stroke the sole of your foot the heel. And then point the foot away and stroke the, to the top of your foot. They do a lot of work for us. Gently slide the um, knees together, inhale, arms up, exhale, turn away from that knee. Can you find the slinky in you here? Can you find the, the center of your being here? I'm always calm in the center of my being. Inhale, arms back up, exhale down. If whatever leg is on top, that arm goes under, give yourself a hug, feel the, the shoulder blades behind you, breathe into your hands. And then if you'd like, you could bring your arms up into eagle arms. 
maybe a gentle back bending, maybe letting the eyes come up a little bit higher. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, let that bird fly. Okay, uh, back on earth. We are gonna do, we're gonna stay a little bit more seated today as we did in the beginning. So shift to one side of your uh, chair and then finding high lunge. Really focusing on spreading the toes and bending the toes. So opening up um, all those joints in the toes. Hips are facing forward, so high lunge. I'm holding on to the chair so I'm not falling off. So I work in partnership with my chair. It's almost like um, partner yoga, but I'm using a chair, not a person. Okay, I can bring the uh, arm up if I'd like to opening up this uh, hip flexor, the front hip flexor. And then from here, we're gonna move into warrior one. So I'm gonna push off the chair a little bit, come up and then release the heel back down. Uh, so I have much more support from my back foot. Hips are still facing forward, warrior one. I can choose to hold on to the chair or maybe bringing my arms up. Warrior one assumes position, gets ready, checking, observing, seeing that, seeing what, like what's going on. Observation without uh, judgment. From here, we're gonna come up, open up the pelvic halves, warrior two. Warrior two draws the string back on the bow gets ready for action. Now here, bend both knees, bend both knees, go up and down. Notice the legs, the strength of your legs, build some strength here. Maybe you bend so much that you touch the chair. Up and down a few times, building strength in those legs. The earth is all about uh, your physical body, the bones, strength, um stability okay now we're going to move from front foot to back foot pushing away and pouring push away and pour push away and pour so i'm yielding into earth i'm pushing away and i'm pouring into my other leg moving from foot to foot getting ready for action building strength stability Okay, and then slowly come back and sit on that chair and then kick away, kick away, like kick away everything you no longer need. Hands, maybe even use your arms, like a two-year-old, like a tantrum. Kick away, kick away, kick away. All right, and then we're gonna try the other side. So sliding to the side of your chair, fighting high lunge, my back foot, my toes are flexed, my toes are spread and flexed. So working on the flexibility on the toes. I am holding on to the chair and maybe I'm bringing that arm up, opening up that left hip flexor. Earth is slow, steady, we hold the poses. In the water, there's a movement, it's flowing. So all the elements, they, um, it's like a part of, it's a, like a team member. Okay, going from here up to warrior one. So releasing that heel down, it's like a 10 degree um, on that back foot. I'm still facing forward. I'm still looking, observing, trying to figure out what's going on, what's happening. Much more stability here from my back foot than in high lunge. I'm using my entire foot to stay connected to earth. If I want to, I can bring the arms up, even put the thumbs together Ooh, for Garuda. Freedom is my true nature. I'm always calm at the center of my being. Okay, from here, inhale up, open up the pelvic halves coming into warrior two. The pelvic halves open up. 
Bend both knees. Bend both knees. Going up and down. Notice the strength in your leg. The heavy bones, the bone marrow. Both feet are connected to earth. Drawing from the center of the earth. So much power in Mother Earth. And then shifting back and forth from foot to foot. I'm yielding to earth and then I'm pushing away and pouring. I'm yielding to earth and then I'm pushing away and pouring. So warrior two is getting ready for action. Okay, finding a, a stable, still warrior two. And then slowly sit back down, kicking away, kicking away, kicking away, like a tantrum, kick away, kick away, arms and legs. No, get rid of everything you no longer need. Like cleaning out the closet. Okay, come back to a regular seat feet on the ground and then we are going to come up to standing so my feet are hip distance apart i'm pouring forward pouring up and forward and up coming up to standing okay let's try one more thing before we turn around so uh bring the feet wide my heels are on the mat and my toes are off the mat. And then just going from, from foot to foot and notice how you're pushing and pouring. Notice how you're using your, your feet and the connection to earth. It's a yielding and pushing away to pour over to the other side. It's a yielding and pushing away, going from side to side. Okay, now let's turn around and uh, do some standing stuff. Okay. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, up and over. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, stepping back to plank pose. Here, bring awareness to your feet and then use those feet. Your toes are spread, use the feet to push um, or yourself forward. So the crown of the head is leading. Can you feel the, the center of your being here? Can you find the root in between your sitting bones in this, in this uh, shape? I'm always calm in the center of, of my being, even though I'm moving. Okay, now bend both knees and elbows. This would be more water element. And eventually find your way to down dog. Stay in down dog. Notice the strength and stability of your bones, the bone, the marrow in the bones has so much nutrition. Okay, inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump wide. And then jump your feet together. Inhale for flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. Stay in Anjali Mudra. I am always calm in the center of my being. Okay, inhale to chair pose. Bring the hands back down in Anjali Mudra. Pour your weight into the left uh, leg. The right heel comes off the floor. Stay there for a moment, finding your balance. And then take a big step back, finding the earth behind you. Open up the pelvic halves for warrior two. Arms go out, or I'm pulling the string back. Warrior two gets ready for action. Now push and pour from back from one foot to the other. 
And then eventually we're going to go into a version of tree pose using the chair. Okay, so now I'm going to shift my or pour my weight in forward. I'm going to hold on to the chair, hold on to the chair, step that back foot up and out, up and out. Maybe I'm staying here holding on to the chair. Maybe I'm letting the, the arms go. And then I can choose to move my arms. Okay, bend the standing leg, hold on to the chair and then step back down. Bend both knees and come back up to standing. Inhale to chair, uh, bring the hands down in uh, Anjali Mudra. Pour the weight into the right leg, left heel comes off the floor. Take a big step back, finding the earth behind you, release the heel and opening up the pelvic half for warrior two on the other side. Bending both uh, knees and then uh, transferring the weight from foot to foot. Okay, and then deciding to go. So I'm gonna hold on to my chair, transfer the weight forward, and then bring that foot up and out, up and out. So I'm opening up this pelvic half. I can hold on, I can stay here, hold on to the chair, or I can let the arms go. Okay. Bend the standing knee, hold on to the chair and step that foot back down. Both knees are bent and then coming back up to standing. Okay, let's come to the back of the chair and, and try some tree poses here. So I'm holding on to the chair, I'm transferring the weight into uh, the left side of my body. That allows my right side to be light. I'm bringing that knee up and out, up and out, deciding where, what kind of tree do I want to be today? I can do whatever tree I'd like. I can be a small tree. I can be a big tree. I can be a tree with branches really high up. Maybe the brands are going like all kinds of crazy ways. It's my tree, my journey. I'm in charge. I get to choose. Holding on to the chair and then coming down. Okay, try that. Let's try the other side. Standing up tall. Transferring the weight into my right, the right side of my body that's stable, allows the left side to go light. And then building my own, creating my own tree. That, that, that what kind of tree would I like to be today? It can be the same as on the other side, or it can be different. What color is my tree? What type is it? And then slowly coming back to earth. One last uh, shape before we go into the yoga nidra. So bring the feet, I'm gonna, um, my heels are on the mat and the toes are pointing out, goddess. And then bending my knees slightly, no leaning this way. So I'm standing, I'm still, imagine someone's pulling your hair and then you're just bending the knees. And then maybe adding the arms. You could do a little bit of up and down just to notice the strength in your legs, the connection to your earth. And then finding stillness, goddess pose, earth, female energy that we all have. 
men and women alike. Here, can you find that slinky in you? I'm always calm in the center of my being. And then eventually release that pose. Heel, toe, your feet together. And then we're getting ready for uh, the yoga nidra part. So you can do the yoga nidra seated. I prefer to do it laying down. You can use a bolster under your under your um, knees and lay down like this. Maybe put on socks or put a blanket on top because you're gonna be laying still for about 25 minutes and you might get cold. And as you get ready, uh, I'm just gonna remind, me, remind you. So this is a guided meditation, uh, which means I am guiding you to places that you can choose to go to with me or not. You don't have to go where I take you. You can say, thank you so much for, for the idea, but like, no, I'm not going there. I'm going somewhere else. So even though I am guiding the meditation, you choose if you want to come with me or not. You can always leave. And we are working with earth element today. That's the focus. We always have all the five elements working with us. Uh, it's just um, that we focus on one part to make it a little bit simpler. And the mantra that you may like to use is, I am always calm in the center of my being. All right, so let's start this. You're sitting on gravel, leaning on a stone wall behind you. You can feel the heat. No, sorry guys. I am so sorry. I started with the journey. We're gonna start over. We're gonna start over. I started reading the journey right away. Something didn't feel right. Okay, so we are gonna start with the regular script, of course. Okay, here we go. Let your body sink down into the floor. Feel the earth underneath you, holding and supporting you, rising up to softly cradle you. At this time, nothing else matters. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Remain still for deep nourishment. Repeat these words in your mind. I am awake and aware. I am awake and aware. Now imagine yourself in a sacred place that feels peaceful and protected and supportive. It may be outside in nature, somewhere inside, or an imaginary place. This is your inner sanctuary. Feel yourself here and begin to see all the details around you. The light, the colors, any objects. 
see yourself in this sacred place. Sensing the comforting energy. Supportive, calm, and protected. At any time during practice, you can guide yourself back here. If anything feels odd or too intense, go back to your inner sanctuary. Your inner sanctuary is always here. It is a part of who you are. Become aware of your upper body. Notice breath in your heart space. The easy rise and fall of breath in your chest. Now, go inward. Deep inside and listen. Listen to your heart. Deep listening. What does it say? What is your heart's deepest longing? What does your heart desire? Your heart may speak in words, colors, songs, images, or something else. Allow your heart to speak its truth. From your heart's longing, create a positive statement in present tense as though it's already happening. Now, state your heart's wish three times to yourself as the truth. Bring awareness to your belly. Notice your navel center. Notice the expansion on the inhale and the soft release on the exhale. Navel rising on the inhale, yielding to earth on exhale. From your navel center, Bring awareness to your pelvis, hips, upper legs, knees, lower legs, ankles, top of your foot, big toes, first toes, second toes, third toes, and little toes. Bring awareness to the soles, <clears throat> the soles of your feet. Notice your heels. Feel the calves, back of knees, hamstrings. Find the back part of pelvis, front part of pelvis hip bones, feel both legs. Bring awareness to your sitting bones. Notice your root in between the sitting bones. Lift your awareness from your root to your lower belly, solar plexus, heart space, throat center, third eye, and crown of your head. Notice back of your head. 
neck, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, top of your hands, all 10 fingers, palm of your hands. Sense both arms. Bring awareness to your throat center. Notice the back of your tongue. Roof of your mouth. Teeth. Notice sensation in your mouth. Receiving taste. Shift your attention to your ears. Outer ears, inner ears. Witness your ears hearing, receiving sound. Bring awareness to your nose. Feel tip of your nose. Notice breath passing through both nostrils. Notice the sensation of inhale. Receiving smell. Notice your eyes. Feel your eyes as color as a radiant wisdom, receiving sight. Become aware of your eyebrows. Shift to your mind's eye. Expand attention to your whole head. Now notice the upper part of your body. Now feel the lower part of your body. Shift your awareness to your back body, side of the body facing the ground, back body. And now feel your front body, side of the body facing the sky, front body. Now feel right arm and left leg, right arm and left leg together. Now feel left arm and right leg, left arm and right leg together. Feel, feel your whole body now, all parts together, all together as a whole. Feel your whole body. Now, now notice breath from the earth to your root. Inhale from your root to your lower belly. Exhale slowly. Inhale from root to solar plexus. 
exhale slowly. Inhale from root to heart space. Exhale slowly. Inhale from root to throat center. Exhale slowly. Inhale from root to third eye. Exhale slowly. Inhale from root to crown of the head. Exhale slowly. Notice breath moving in your core. Now, imagine your body heavy, heavy and sinking into earth. Bones are dense, arms are sinking, legs are stable, body heavy and sinking. Now, Imagine your inner core light. Light as fragrance drifting. Inner core light and drifting. Body is heavy. Core is light. You're sitting on gravel, leaning on a stone wall behind you. You can feel the heat from the rocks warming your back. All day, this ancient structure has absorbed and stored energy from the sun. You take off your shoes. Wiggle your toes and give yourself a foot massage. It feels good. You stretch out your legs in front of you. You close your eyes. The sun is still warm despite the late afternoon. There is a curious fragrance in the air. You take small puffs through your nostrils. The tip of your nose is sensitive. Guides you. Eventually, you inhale deeply to explore this new smell. What can it be? You decide to get up. The skin on the soles of your feet is still soft and the rocks are uneven. Slowly, you push 
and pour your weight from one foot to the other. It hurts a little. You can see the smooth grass ahead. You focus and keep walking. The smell is stronger now. With the soft grass under your feet, you walk faster. Skipping along. You reach a red wooden bridge. It looks stable. With strong legs, you run over it and keep moving until you are deep into the dark forest. In here, there is stillness and silence. You slow down. Catch your breath. You wander among the tall trees. Big boulders with moss. Small green shrubs and fern. Careful not to disturb. You feel calm yet curious. You notice movement in the woods. The stillness turns into action. Right in front of you, there is a path of ants busy carrying and building. You sit down. With awe and wonder, you simply observe their energy and focus. Together, they create a functioning hill to live, work, and play. There is vibration in the ground. You feel it through the soles of your feet. Deep, dark drumming from the center of the forest. Your ears pick up the beat. It's clear and stable now. You follow the sound. With hands and arms, you clear leaves and branches away from your path. You see people. Men, women and children dancing in a wide circle. No one is touching. Each person is moving separately following their own rhythm and pace. Yet, they all dance together. The drummer is in the middle, slowly pushing and pouring from foot to foot, yielding to earth and pushing away. Her gaze wanders from tree to tree, keeping everyone safe. She sees you, nods her head, and invites you in. The circle opens up, and you decide to join. You feel the music. A deep inhale to take in this new brave world. You exhale with a sigh. 
you can rest your brain now. Simply allowing your body to move in whatever direction it chooses. There is wisdom in yourselves. Your core leads the way. You are always calm in the center of your being. Now, remember your heart's longing. The positive statement you set at the beginning of practice. Repeat it three times to yourself as though it's already happening. Let this truth fill every cell of your body. Notice all the space around you. Sense the space within you. Feel the sense of calm confidence, whole and complete. Notice that part of you that is the witness. The one who has observed your body, breath and journey. And now begin to notice thoughts and feelings flowing through your awareness again. Notice your breath. Feel its rhythm and pace. Invite your breath to deepen now. Feel yourself reawakening. Become aware of your body, your physical body resting on the earth. Before moving, just sense your hands. Now begin to wiggle your fingers. Notice your feet. Wiggle your toes. Gently rock your head from side to side. A slow awakening. A deep breath into your belly. And let it go. Slowly roll to your left hand side. Press your hands into the floor and come up to a comfortable seated position. Lengthen your spine. Take a full breath in. Let it go. Bring your hands up in Anjali Mudra, holding your own heart in between your hands with love and compassion. I'm always calm in the center of my being. Gently bow your head in gratitude for this practice thousands of years old. Thank your inner guide, your past, present and future teachers and all the people that are joining you on this journey. Allow the eyes to open, raise your gaze. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.